and welcome! My name is Eva and I am pleased to present to you the newest Glam Shop collection. This collection is called Oriental. Oriental. It depends if you want to pronounce it in English or in Polish. <laughs> And in this collection you can find, of course, eyeshadow palette, 15 shades, also face palette with a bronzer, blush and highlighter, as well as brush to this contouring palette, something like lip plumper, let's say. Although we'll get to it, because in my opinion it's not quite lip plumper, but as I said, we'll get to it. Free gel eyeliners in such a gorgeous color, not only black one, also classic eyeliner in pen and for absolutely gorgeous but also super long lasting cream eyeshadows, metallic eyeshadows and this lovely, absolutely lovely bag. It's so stunning, look how gorgeous the inside is. <laughs> And it's pretty big, by the way, so if you're looking for such a gorgeous and, listen, it's really well done cosmetic bag. Because this collection includes so many products, but obviously so many shades, I am not able to test every single shade and every single product today. So if you are new here, you must know that this is only the first part of this review, because the rule of this channel is that I'm not going to finish review until I use every, every single shade from the collection. So yes, I'm going to test every single eyeliner, every single cream metallic eyeshadow, every single shade from the palette. So yeah, today it's only the beginning. <laughs> so. I'm going to apply my P. Louise base, zoom you in, meanwhile you're going to see some juicy close-ups and swatches of whole collection and we can start.
This palette maybe doesn't have as many shades, like 15 shades is okay number, but there are so many gorgeous color stories in this palette, I am not sure what I want to do as my first makeup. So let's start with haha, mud base shade. I'm taking shade Oaza. When a palette has mud base shade, it's like plus one to being a good palette. <laughs> of course, I'm kidding. Like, mud beige is good to have it. It's nice for cleaning makeup, especially under brow area. That's why right now I'm applying it only under my brow area to set this area. Rest of my base will be sticky. But of course, this is not mandatory shade, but it's great when especially bigger than only 9 or 12 eyeshadow palettes uh, contain this shade. This palette is like super complete palette because it has matte beige shade, but also it has matte black shade. So it's like super complete. I'm taking shade Pew. This isn't matte beige. This is absolutely like mm, beigey browny shade, transition shade. It will be visible on my complexion because I am super pale. But if its pigmentation is okay, then it also should be visible on others. It should be just treated as a very gentle transition shade. Yeah, it is here. Very gentle. I bet this shade is amazing for daily makeups. Just this shade shimmer on eyelid and daily makeup ready. So first I contour my crease and above crease area. Okay, now I'm taking shade Vezir. Honestly, this shade didn't want to swatch well, but I hope it will be okay on my eyelid. The best example of eyeshadows that swatch absolutely horrible and they are amazing on eyelids are um, shades in all carnival palettes. Like, swatches aren't the best, but the shades themselves are very, very good. And here I think it's the same, because this shade is very nicely pigmented on eye. Also, the color itself, it's very nice. I like shade like this. It's something like mm, a little bit cherry brown shade. Like, it is something reddish in it. Okay, I'll apply it also on my lower eyelid. On the other corner and also middle. I don't have any particular plan for this makeup. I just want to play with these shades and see what will happen. Now I'm taking shade Scheherazada and I'm applying this shade on my lower eyelid on the middle. Ooh, this is a nice shade. You know, this palette has. Mm, on the one hand, this palette has a lot of different shades, like there is orange and a little bit like greenish shade, but at the same time, these shades are a little bit like muted, like there is something mm, not muddy, more like, like they have a little sand in them. I'm adding like gentle hue of this little like dirty, dusty rose. Dusty, that's maybe the word I was looking for, dusty. All these shades look like a little bit dusty shades, which by the way is very cool. Now I'm taking Arabica and I'll add it in my outer corner. Let's see how well these shades blend with each other. Hmm, promising. Uh, it's not that this shade isn't um, pigmented. I'm just using very small amount because I want only this little, little hue. I don't want full pigmentation. And listen, I really have really little amount on my brush. Also, I use the same brush that I used for this shade. And I think the pigmentation is on point. Now I'm taking Róża Pustyni and this shade I'm applying on my lower eyelid, inner corner. Time to play with shimmers. I have these really gorgeous metallic cream eyeshadows and they are really gorgeous and also they are waterproof. 
Uh, but because there are so many shimmers to test, I think that I'll start with the shimmers from the palette and there will be always time to test this creamy one too. So I'm taking shade Emirate and I'm applying this shimmer on my whole upper eyelid, which is very gorgeous shimmer. It's a little bit beigey, a little bit like mm, white gold. But at the same time, it has some pinkish. Now I'm taking shade Shake and I'm adding it in my inner corner, lower eyelid, just on this green or mustard green. Wow! This is so gorgeous shimmer! And now I'm taking Noc Pustyni. And honestly, I am extremely afraid of this black. <laughs> I swatched it and it's so pigmented that honestly, I am... Well, I am a little bit afraid of it. Like, you know, it's good to have good and gorgeously pigmented black, but I just wonder if it's not too much because it's really pigmented, like really pigmented. I'm blending it a little letter C. I feel like this black is gently patchy or shades that are under it or it's over pigmentation but when I'm touching it I made hole and I really don't like it. This black is like apply me and don't touch me. Sometimes it is the issue with extremely pigmented eyeshadows. Like these eyeshadows from, for example, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. These eyeshadows were crazy pigmented and some of them just acted this way. So apply me and don't blend me. Don't touch me because I'm going to be patchy. Huh. Okay, I'll see what I can do here. I'll do the same on my left eye, of course. I'll clean this fallout and then I'll be back with already applied base but I want to apply also one eyeshadow more to this makeup so be right back I a little bit changed my mind I'm going to apply this missing shade now uh, about this black I am not honestly 100% satisfied with it it's nice black but I really wish it to be less pigmented but not patchy like patchy black is a tragedy for the makeup artist and for just people who love makeup and play with it like mm. the only issue I want to have with black is that I don't know I applied it too much and now I have problem and everything is dark done patchiness like seriously with black patchiness mm. Better option would be to make this black less pigmented, but uh, you'll be able to build it up than to make it super pigmented, but... Mm, well, it's beautiful black, but to shame it's a little bit patchy. Of course, I'm going to test it more because this patchiness isn't like uh, very, very bad, but unfortunately I see it and it bothers me a little bit. Now I'm going to test this eyeliner in a pen, so this one, the tip is not a brush, the tip is felt, you know, this kind of sponge, let's say, it's not a brush, unfortunately my experience is that pen eyeliners that have brush here, not sponge, doesn't have tendency to clog. But I guess it's not a rule and I've heard a lot about uh, eyeliners with felt tip that don't clog. So let's check this one. For sure it's super uh, precise, the tip is very sharp. I won't create any wing because I have this black in my outer corner, so I think it's sufficient. I will add this black here a little bit though to matte the tip of this eyeliner. Now I'm taking a shade Piasek Pustyni. It's lovely pinkish beige shade. I'm applying it in my inner corner and only here. It looks like quads, like pink quads. Very beautiful shade. 
Okay, now I'll finish my makeup. You know, lashes. I'll do my face makeup and I'll be right back to test face palette. Okay, I contoured my face, by the way, also with Glam Shop product. This is cream bronzer and shade, just cream contour, contour w kremie. So I only contoured my face because I am not sure if I should do something with my face when I'm going to use this bronzer, because you know, contouring and bronzing are two different things. This is Oriental Face Palette, contouring palette, and we have here absolutely gorgeous on swatch. It was mm, gorgeous bronzer, uh, blush and highlighter. I'm afraid that highlighter will be too dark for me, although with this bronzer it might be okay. We'll see. And I'm going to use this brush that you can also find in this collection. This brush uh, was designed just especially for this palette because these products are baked products. So this brush is made especially for this palette. So I'm going to use it. It's pretty big brush, not gonna lie, but it's super soft, like mmm. So let's try, ooh, ah. A little bit, a little bit powdery. Let's try this bronzer first. Uh, the shade is called Opalenizna Instant, so Insta Tan. Let's just try it. This brush is for sure very big, <laughs> which is fine, but I am not used to use such big brushes. This bronzer, from what I know, is pretty interesting because, first of all, it can be built up. I am super pale, so I'm not going to add it a lot because, honestly, I am afraid that I'm going to hurt myself with such a big amount of bronzer. But you can build it up and also it looks differently um, depending from what angle you look at it. It can be a little bit lighter, a little bit darker, and also it's a little bit luminous. It's very pretty. Very pretty. And this brush also is a very good brush. Maybe a little bit too big, at least for me, but very nice one. Okay. Maybe I add a little bit more of this bronzer, why not? It's just nice color. So why not to use it a little bit more? Yeah. It looks good. Oh, it looks very good. Wow. Now blush, this shade is Satinowy Rouge. So just satin blush. I'm going to use the same brush and let's apply it. Okay, it's pigmented. <laughs> it's pigmented. <laughs> it's a little bit like duochro. Oh, definitely. Ooh, it will be so good for so many makeups. It's between pink and peachy. I think I applied it too much. Let me quickly comb it, at least here under my eye area. This is just translucent powder, nothing special. You can apply uh, a lot of product with this brush. Baked product aren't that easy to apply on brush. I have some baked blushes and believe me, you need to a lot of times just scratch surface of this blush to apply anything on brush. So this brush is absolutely great to apply these baked products, but <laughs> it's super big, so it's not very much precise. That's why for the highlighter, I'm going to use just my normal highlighter brush. Uh, this is shade Chili Stipo Whisk. With this bronzer, this highlighter might be okay for me, 
but in general I am extremely pale so this highlighter might be too dark for me um, the color shade is like Amrizi highlighter you know these kind of highlighters they are super popular and a lot of people love them unfortunately I am too pale for such color it's like a shade Amnesia Skin Glazing by Nabla this kind of shade, so it's not dark shade, it's just a little bit too dark shade for me. The color is a little bit champagne gold. And yes, it will be a little bit too dark for me, I can see on the bridge of my nose that it is a little bit too dark. Which is fine. I bet it will be okay for you. I still keep highlighters like this because they are still okay when I use a lot of bronzer so this shade is very similar for example to this shade I have and I still keep this highlighter although it's too dark for me this is Amnesia and this is Mary Lou by The Balm of course so this is this kind of color. It's gorgeous color, it's just not for someone that is Fenty 100 when it comes to a uh, range of foundations. <laughs> okay, now brow gel and lower lashes. Last product I will test today is lip gloss Szczypadełko. This is, let's say, very gentle lip plumper, but very gentle. It's actually not a lip plumper, if you would ask me, but will get to it. I'm going to share with you all my thoughts and opinions about the products or shades I tested today. I've tested it off camera because the ingredients that are in this product are like a little bit lip plumping so I was curious how this lip plumping effect works, if it works. I'm going to apply it as lip gloss on other lipsticks so let me first apply my lipstick. Of course I'll use brush because I don't want to transfer anything to the packaging. So the thing is that this lip gloss, first of all, it smells like mint and the smell isn't subtle. It's not super intense but it's not for sure subtle. That's the first thing and second thing of course it's not blue, okay? On your lips it's not blue. <laughs> don't be excited. <laughs> it's a little bit like oil a little bit, not like really oil, but for sure it's super uh, not sticky, like really super not sticky. Okay, let's talk about the newest Oriental collection by Glam Shop. I'll start with the stuff I unfortunately haven't tested today, but it still haven't tested yet. In the upcoming videos, I'll test everything I haven't tested before. So, first of all, uh, ha, 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 eyeliners. Three shades, brown, uh, let's say that reddish one and black. The most important thing is to keep them close and not expose them to the sun. That's the very important thing you have to know. The most important thing is of course to keep them close as much as you can uh, because they will dry otherwise. They are not maybe super waterproof, but they are long-lasting. You saw on uh, swatches that I had some troubles to clean my hand only with micellar water, so they are pretty long-lasting. The most water resistant and also micellar water resistance are these cream eyeshadows. 
that are in this collection. Four absolutely gorgeous shades. Most of them has so many different particles that mm, I hope that you saw on swatches. They are extremely waterproof. You have to use duo face makeup remover or oil to remove them. They are not easy to remove with only micellar water and you won't remove them with only soap and water. Eyeliner. Let's maybe talk about eyeliner. So far it's okay. Like the blackness of this black is pretty much black, if you know what I mean. I know this sounds weird, but some eyeliners aren't black enough. This one is for sure black enough. The tip is extremely uh, precise and it's comfortable to use, but unfortunately I can't tell you today if it will clog or not. Most of the time when I use these kind of liners then the issue of course aren't matte shades but shimmer shades and glitters. We'll see how it will be with it. Unfortunately I don't think that I will be able to give you the right answer if this eyeliner will clog or not in the upcoming couple of videos. Sometimes it's like two free uses and it will clock and sometimes it's like a month to three it's okay and suddenly it won't work anymore so i think that i'll at some point do just one collective video with update of some just makeup products including this eyeliner it doesn't feel to be this kind of eyeliner that likes to clog but i can't predict the future so we'll see Right now I can for sure recommend it. If you like felt this spongy applicator, then this might be also a liner for you, especially that you know it's glam shop, it's not expensive. Now let's talk about the lip gloss. So Szczypadełko, this is oil-based lip gloss with ginger extract. So in general it should be a little bit lip plumping and honestly this lip plumping effect it's not as serious as with uh, Nabla lip plumper viper it's not like that you feel a little bit pinching on your lips but this feeling isn't uncomfortable and this is also oil based so it has some oils that are caring for the lips so I would say that this is not lip plumper, but lip gloss with a little lip plumping effect, very gentle, but more like nourishing and moisturizing your lips. Next is the face palette and the brush. So the face palette is wow, it's so wow. The bronzer is so must have, I love it, it's so good. The color is absolutely great, so natural, like sun-kissed skin, I love it absolutely and also the biggest okay from my point of view is that you can build it up. I was really a little bit slightly afraid that it will be too dark for me, especially that I've seen it uh, on owner of glam shop on Hania and on Hania it looked so dark and I was like well Hania isn't so pale as I am so hmm, I think we have a problem no we don't have a problem this bronzer is just stunning and can be built up and on my complexion on my extremely pale complexion it looks good I would even say that it looks great not only good so that's very big plus uh, blush blush unfortunately i a little bit took it too much but it doesn't matter blush is also very pretty and this is this kind of color that will match to a lot of different makeups this is just a peachy uh, gold uh, pink blush it's just this universal blush of course it won't match to every single makeup Come on, there are some exceptions, but most of them. And highlighter, nice glow, very nice highlighter. Unfortunately, like I said, a little bit too dark for me. With this bronzer, however, it's okay. I don't see this, uh, this shadow here. If you like these kind of highlighters that I mentioned in this video, then this highlighter will be also okay for you, like I said. I am super pale, but I bet you are not as pale as I am. <laughs> and of course brush is super cool if, and I bet that this is the case, 
if rest of glam shop brushes are like this, like this quality, then glam shop brushes are actually pretty good. If this is some sort of like uh, imitation of natural hair because it's vegan, like you know that, I hope. This is just wow! So good quality. Uh, I actually don't have brush that is so good uh, and so perfect for baked products. So if you also have some issues with doing this constantly, trying to take a little bit at least on your brush, then maybe this brush would be your savior. Unfortunately, it's super big, but it's the matter of technique and mastering some skills. Uh, I think I'm going to use it for some of my blushes, for highlighter, for me at least, maybe a little bit too big, for bronzer and blush, it's okay. And like I said, like the quality is... the softness. <laughs> Gorgeous! And the last product, so probably the star of today's video, the eyeshadow palette, Oriental. Of course, the packaging itself is super beautiful and really atmospheric and let's talk of course about the eyeshadows so if you haven't noticed yet we have here very cool not only color story but also placement of eyeshadows because you can read this palette like so and another three and another three and another three you can use it like columns and that's super cool. Also, this shade is satin, so it's probably good for your outer corner. Uh, of course, I try it. Um, that's why it also lies uh, among these matte shades. I like placement of eyeshadows that make sense and this is absolutely gorgeous from the lightest to the darkest and also with the columns middle row, it's only with shimmers that's just mm, the aesthetic you know what i mean <laughs> so what i really enjoy about this palette is no chunky eyeshadows i'm sorry but glam shop very much like to create these uh, a little bit chunky eyeshadows like i'm not talking about these super flaky ones i'm talking about these chunky eyeshadows that you can find in pokusa palette in the previous 15 shades palette pokusa seduction i also have video with it and i get it those more chunky eyeshadows are very pretty very blinding but i mostly adore shades that can work with brush without any issues and those chunky shades are super cool but unfortunately brush it's not their favorite way to be applied finger is much more preferred way and here we have turbo pigments so i think this is the most popular line of eyeshadows by glam shop and they work with brushes without any issues and i love it I absolutely love it that I can use what I want. I want finger, I will use finger. I want brush, I will use brush. This way I can use brushes from biggest to the smallest one to create more detailed work and I won't have a lot of fallout. I won't have this chunkiness all over my face. This is why I really adore this part. <laughs> Of course, when we are talking about quality in general, this is just glam shop quality, so you know it's good. The only but that I have in this palette is unfortunately this black. It's not bad shade, like 100%, because it's super, super, super extremely pigmented. And actually, I don't see this patchiness like in every inch of this eyeshadow that I have here on my eyelids. But unfortunately, I can see some patchiness. So this shade is for observation. This shade is under the big question mark because I don't have a right answer right now for it if this is a good eyeshadow or not. Of course, I will test it, but if by the end of this whole review, this whole review series, I won't be able to say if this shade is really patchy or not, I will do ultimate test. So smoky eye, black smoky eye, and if it will be patchy and a true black smoky eye, then unfortunately this black will be patchy. But this ultimate test is far for now. For now I can for sure recommend this palette 
uh, because even if this black is a little bit patchy, I'm not sure if this isn't maybe the fault of oversaturation. This black shade has this shade underneath, so for now, like I said, I won't judge this black shade as much, let's say. You know what? This palette is super cool because it's super colorful, but in the same time these colors are a little bit muted. I would even say that this palette is like colorful daily palette, if you know what I mean. Because uh, even this uh, pinky shades are muted, they are not like hot pink. This is very nicely created palette, I can't wait to play with it more. So, of course, this is not my final opinion, maybe my final opinion is for face palette, szczypadełko and also this brush, for other stuff, no, <laughs> it's only my first impression opinion, you'll have to wait until I test everything thoroughly every single shade. For now I for sure recommend every single thing I've tested today and also every single thing that I haven't tested today. Believe me, swatches were sufficient to tell that these eyeliners and these eyeshadows are super good. <laughs> So I bet that I won't be disappointed by them. And that will be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, this is not the end. This is only the beginning in the upcoming videos. I'm going to review and play with this collection even more. And I hope that you will be with me in these upcoming videos. <laughs> So once again, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I love you very, very much. And I see you soon. Bye!